if ES slips overnight, that could be that could be pretty rough. And we've got we've got a head and shoulders here um, on the on the fifteen minute on ES on the test, right? Uh, one t triple triple top, or it's more of a head and shoulders, right? Because this high is relative to the prior the first one. If this fails, fifty three sixty eight. We could dump a bit overnight back to that fifty three forty nine level, maybe even lower. So yeah, not 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 particularly strong, and and possibly a failure of the the bear flag that we had for today. Yeah, we'll see how that plays out. Dollar's still pretty strong. Uh, yields on the top end of the curve are up, despite them coming down a little bit on the bottom side. The three year printed a big fat tail today, which does not bode well for <laughs> tomorrow's ten year auction. Yeah, indication the the Share offering is concluded. Well, besides the close at 25, which is pretty bullish given today's drop, I would say that yes, the fact that GME is becoming more illiquid and yet the price is going up would indicate that the MM is buying to hedge and sufficient liquidity is not hitting the market. So um, tighter liquidity and rising prices are, are not indicative of a continuation in the share offering. I, so I would say... That yes, it is probably complete. Uh, it may not be, but I would say that at least the majority of it probably is. If it's not, they've stopped selling uh, briefly. Um, arb like this arb re resolution in the in the pre market, like that. That's kind of you know uh, a little bit indicative that the share offering was still continuing. You know, if we go out on the daily, there wasn't too much of a change in liquidity, but a bit. Um, you know, there is demand for inventory because there are so many options on the chain. So it's not unreasonable to think that the MM would be a fairly willing purchaser of, uh, of any shares offered, at least for the time being. I mean, they can dump them later, but... Um, I think I think I think that's a pretty strong performance and a good bounce on the technical level, right? Um, yeah, I mean a good bounce off the the low resistance, a strong one at that, um, and a push back up above the resistance level there at twenty four eighty three. Um, we did find support at 2380, which I kind of thought we would. That's that's really where the gamma starts to ramp up on those downside positions, but things still don't get bullish. Till we get back above 30 right so a, a nice a nice bounce not very strong still needs to clear back above 30 but i think i think it's in a, a decent position i mean uh vol volatility is probably going to continue to slowly bleed as long as we trade around this range but if we break above 30 it'll spike up really hard again also price action like this encourages out of the money call buying uh, right now, out of the money call buying has uh, more of an impact, even on the weeklies, because they carry more delta. Breadth up a little bit today, but did fall immediately in after hours. Uh, quite quite hard, actually. Didn't move quite to the top of the market maker's expected range, which is getting really low, by the way. Uh, but we did test the, the, the lower trend this morning, um, and the bounce off of that lower trend this time is significantly weaker than the prior two bounces, which which could also be a slight indication of a, a failure in this bounce here at the top. Kind of already covered the head and shoulders there. Uh, broad commodities moved up a little bit today, and that's largely due to the rise in dollar value. Um, I don't I don't really think we've had any other international data that would have impacted this, but remember that a lot of commodities are dollar denominated, right? And that that dollar denominated assets are attractive as the dollar rises against its competing currencies, especially the euro, which is down very hard against the dollar due to the ECB divergence last week, right? So 10, 20, and 30 bouncing back very hard last week. Obviously, I'm continuing that rise today, starting to see the top end of the yield curve push back towards that inversion um that's that's obviously driving dollar up which managed to hold above 105 today even after getting rejected it looks like at like 105.40 there so in a strong position bullish consolidation on the dollar that could continue to move up uh, core three month spx both three month and and one month correlation broke down a little bit today you know we saw breadth move in a little bit to support markets 
but ultimately tech kind of underperforming and a little bit of the dispersion in tech breaking down. More of that's being realized in the 30-day window um, than the 90-day window, but they are both they are both turning around. We've got forward yield on volatility is at negative 2.23%. Big move up uh, today um after after last week's intense volatility shorting um we were we snapped right back to where we were um largely brought on by the drop uh or the re reinversion of the yield curve or t uh, steeper inversion of the yield curve i should say the carry trade leverage is starting to pick up again so you know they're leaning into the carry trade to keep vol from from breaking 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 that positive level again and having that positive yield on forward convexity right that's uh, we watch this every day because it's super f important when the forward yield of volat volatility is positive the demand for volatility immediately picks up right the returns on long volatility are exponential whereas the returns on short volatility are diminishing right and so um bond portfolios when 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 the yield on vol is positive are going to jump on that right because they need that to hedge their books and and this is the reason why so much effort is put into keeping <laughs> as you can see keeping the uh keeping the yield on volatility from breaking above positive uh move dropped a little bit this is to be expected with yields yields kind of rising and bond values coming down skew looks like we're picking up a little bit more tail risk hedging since friday but not a not a ton um i would say that roughly 140 is about about the high end of average 36.58 percent of the s p above its 20 day moving average so that's starting to fail um, more and more of the s p is starting to slip below the 20 day moving average after we hit our high with the probably with the with the all-time high on the market the friday before last at around 45 percent of the s p so breath is really bad right um only 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 a, a small amount of, of the s p is above that 20 day moving average it's really that 36% of the S&P is really carrying all of the f***ing weight right now. Um, I have no idea. I don't have this set up. Uh, Fed fund futures now starting to price a lot closer to just one rate point. Um, we, even, we even slipped a little bit below, it looks like, this morning. Uh, I'm now last Tuesday. Tuesday morning. Uh, bounce back and now we're yeah, now we're now we're kind of falling back below again so yeah a little bit of a little bit of a drop this morning from last friday all of these all of these are kind of like a, a signal that we're we're nearing a top i also want to point out that friday's high test and today's failure to move higher with a let's see 33133 33152 we do have a slightly higher low today but we have a significantly lower high I would I would say that, that that could be that could be bearish, but probably more indicative of just consolidation into Wednesday, right? Um, where consolidation could see us like pull back, you know, maybe maybe even to like the thirty fifty three twenty five level, right? That might be tomorrow, and then you know we'll 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 see where where a CPI and the FOMC decisions take us. All right, um, I think that's everything, Jfresh. Any, anything you wanted to add? No? Okay. Awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Everybody have a great night. Later.